Okay, how to rotate? We start out by selecting the object. We press R, but right now we don't have any control. So what we can do is we press one of the letters for the axis. Uh, we have X, Y, and Z axis. So if we press X, we only move in this direction. If we press Y, we only rotate in this direction. And Z, only rotate in Z um, axis. Okay, great. So we press X and we can rotate like this and we can see the angle that we rotated is um, here. And here I also can write the angle I want to rotate around. It's also possible to do math here. So we can press 360 divided by 5 and we get the angle for that. So this is great. Okay, but what if I want to rotate this object uh, around this axis uh, in this hole? Okay, to do this we can press tab to enter edit mode and we can press alt left click and now we've selected all the vertices here and then we can press shift s and now we choose cursor to selected. If you do that the uh, three cursor goes to the middle of all the selected vertices and this will be the center this time. So this is great. So if you press tab and then we can go to object, set origin and set the origin through the 3D cursor. And because the origin is the point where the object rotates around. And now we have moved it. So if I press R now and X, it will only rotate around this axis you set to just as we wanted so this is great so we set this to zero but what if i also want to rotate around this axis through this part of the tool if we move the origin again over here we can no longer rotate around this part as well so we need to solve this in some other way if i press tab I can see okay it's not as easy to get the 3d cursor to the center so we need to do this in some other way so let's look at this part from the side and I can see here okay this is the top center of uh, the circle from the beginning so if we press shift s cursor to selected and the 3d cursor is here now we just need somehow to move it down move something else down so we press tab and since we are in the top center and we have the 3d cursor here the 3d cursor is where new objects are created so if you press shift a and we create an empty and we choose plane axis like this we now have an object that are in the top center of this tool but now we need to move it down somehow uh, to the center here okay we start out by uh, changing the snapping method so we choose vertex and we activate snapping with its magnet here then we select um, empty and we press G to move and we all only want it to move in the Z direction so we press Z and now we want to snap in the middle so we press here and we can select the tool and we can see that oh, we missed so we tab out we take the empty press G and Z and move it down and now we select the tool and we can see okay so we're at the center of the top and the center of the side so this must be the center great but if I press R, we're still just rotating around this axis. So what we need to do is we take this tool, select it first, then we select the empty. We press Ctrl P and set parent to the object. And what this does is that this is the, now the mother and this is the child. And the child needs to do what the mother tells it to do. So if we start to rotate um, this empty, the tool will follow. And if we select the 
tool and press R, it will still rotate like this. So this is one trick to rotate in uh, different ways. Thanks for watching. Bye.